Welcome back to the channel and this is the Gordini edition. This is my 2011 Renault Sport Twingo Gordini. I've had this particular vert one since 2015. Um, before that I actually had a 2011 Renault Sport Twingo Gordini which I bought new. Uh, one of the worst decisions I ever made was to actually uh, trade it in for a Peugeot 208 GTI in 2013, the worst car I ever had, uh, with £15,000 worth of warranty claims and all sorts. Uh, and when I sold the 208 GTI, I actually went on the hunt for another Twingo Gordini. This particular one, I have done quite a lot of work to. Uh, so it's not exactly 133 brake horsepower. So not long after I got this, I needed a little bit more power in it, and so I originally went to uh, a tuning Renault Sport tuning specialist, who did quite a, quite a good tune with it. And then uh, about six months later, I decided to actually go do quite substantial changes to the engine. Um, it's got uh, a number of extras in the engine, which takes it to about 160 brake horsepower. Uh, it's got a I won't go through the list, but it's certainly got uh, exhaust modifications, um, uh, cam modifications, and so forth. It's pretty nippy. Uh, it's got coilovers all round. It's pretty much original on the outside. Just a bit dusty. Um, it's got 47,000 miles, of which I've put about 10,000 miles on myself. And... It has been round many tracks. Uh, it's done Castle Coombe. It's done the Nurburgring. Uh, so yeah, it's a very nice car. The discs are quite rusted because it has literally done mm. okay um, under a thousand miles in four years, three years, four years, something like that. So what sets the Gordinis? apart from all the other Renault Sport Twingos is the interior and the styling, the, the stripes and the seats, it's got automatic wipers, automatic headlights um, the Bluetooth radio is standard um, it's got accents all over the car which reflect the outside uh, the two stripes on the steering wheel uh, which is a, a classic uh, Gordini motif this particular one is number 139. Uh, I did have number 28, uh, which is currently residing in uh, in Wiltshire as well, uh, in, uh, down in Carl. I know the owner. Uh, I tried to buy back my old car. I managed to track it down. And so, yeah, it's a, a very fast car. Uh, it's one of these cars which doesn't have the power to overtake larger cars but boy does it hold on to their bumpers really well I've had many uh, a, a large Mercedes or BMW looking in their mirrors as I'm about uh, four or five meters behind chasing them up the motorway uh, they, they, they really are quite shocked I don't have the power to overtake them but uh, it's a lot of fun chasing them one thing to note with the Twingo Gordinis is that the alloy wheels came in two different colours. One was the black and uh, silver, and one was the blue and silver. Now the blue and silver was actually uh, a little bit more common. Um, the black and silver seemed to be less, um, and there was also various... Um, there was also other versions of the Twingo Gordini which were the 1.2 turbo. Uh, which was actually quite respectable. I, I've, I've had a number of uh, Renault Sport GTs um, with the same engine and they are surprisingly good fun, reasonably quick um, and this 1.6 uh, naturally aspirated um, in its sort of stock form is quite... It takes, it takes effort to pull away from a GT. Uh, this is quite a bit faster uh, and these things tend to go round corners uh, and hold on really well. Um, they're, they're very good handling cars. Um, they also fly over bumps quite well. 
I've experienced that with a friend uh, in the north of England when we were in the Peak District and uh, yes I did get air with this thing going over a, a, a humpback bridge which we didn't realise was a humpback bridge um, which was a lot of fun. So here in the interior uh, we have here again nice reasonably padded steering wheel uh, they're quite grippy this this car the Gordini specific uh, only at the time in 2011 uh, was cruise control uh, we've got again speedometer uh, over here um, radio and uh, in infotainment system if you can call it that um, climate control radio uh, I said the Gordini gear sticks tend to have a little uh, extra here, which is a, a blue Gordini uh, gear knob. Um, I said also the the RPM indicator, the, the ref counter here is also specific to the Gordini. So you can see this is a digital speedometer, forty-seven thousand nine hundred and eighty-six miles. It's and over here we have on the RPM counter we have the traction control if I can find the button actually switches the traction control completely off uh, and it really is off it is genuinely off I've, I've experienced that um, and then we also have here a gear change indicator so when you actually reach reach the uh, the best point to actually change gear which is normally about somewhere over at six and a half seven thousand something like that um, it will uh, light up um, and yeah uh, this car has had the uh, ECU modified, so it actually has got another uh, 400 RPMs, which uh, it can be quite interesting. And the actual um, uh, light comes on at that specific, or at, at, at slightly higher than it uh, uh, when it did originally. Speedometer. I've I've had this car up to it says 136 miles per hour uh, on the GPS. That was 131. Um, so it's and that's that's at full tilt and that was it actually felt pretty good it felt pretty good so again we've got air, air conditioning um, uh, again fan speed selectors um, the auto on this is pretty good uh, you just select a temperature press auto and it will go off and do things it takes probably about 10 minutes to settle down and after that you do not you don't have to touch it so underneath the dash we actually have the uh, traction control button so you can actually turn off the traction control then over on here uh, we have the cruise control button to switch the cruise control or into uh, speed limiter again adjustable headlights up and down and also adjustable um, uh, dash lighting as well again we've this doesn't have folding mirrors, but it certainly has um, adjustable mirrors internally. Um, so Multi-point electric windows. It's a, a pretty good place. I said it's quite comfy, um, even for somebody who I'm six foot four, and I'm very comfy in this thing. The seats are pretty good, and they actually are very comfortable on the back, uh, and they actually retract. Uh, uh, also, set work go back and forth separately, uh, or flip over, or you can even take them out with just two bolts. And very versatile, turns it into a van. The boot in the Twingo Gordini is actually, in fact, all Renault Sport Twingos are actually very usable. Uh, you think they're quite small, and it's it's absolutely fine for this this size of car. But the one thing you can do with them is push them forwards and. Actually, make them go flat, but also you can actually physically lift them up and out, lift them up and out, um, and it is considerably more usable than most. Now, these are the Twingo, uh, the Gordini mats out of both cars um, to. I've realised very early on that um, they're rare and they're expensive to replace. So I actually have standard Renault Sport mats in both cars and I keep the Gordini mats separately because 
when, when they're gone, they're gone. Um, I said, this is the, that's the mat from the Clio Gordini, and it was used, and it's got a hole in it. Um, but trying to get a Gordini mats is pretty hard. Uh, I've, I've been looking around. There are some available, and they're all, all quite often quite tatty. Um, so yeah, I keep the all of the Gordini mats separate from um, the cars usually. This is just in storage here. And so here we have my 2010 Clio Gordini. So the Rennesport Clio 200 Gordini edition. I said every single Gordini has the Gordini series badge on it. Same as on the Twingo. Um, I bought this in 2018, not long after I moved to Manchester. And sent it to a Renault Sport specialist and I had lots and lots and lots of work done to the engine. So we're looking at about 280 brake horsepower and it's oh, and some birds pooed on it. Okay, great, lovely. Uh, like the Twingo Gordini, it's got the same interior, type of interior. Um, unlike the Twingo, it's got a more aggressive stance and styling package. I've actually put these um, Speedline Chirini uh, uh, alloy wheels on and I've also got Yokohama tyres on. Uh, this has been round the track uh, only a couple of times. I did actually have it entirely stripped out, the interior, and a roll cage and all sorts of goodies in it. I'll cut in a photo of it uh, uh, about now. So yeah, this is in pretty good condition. It's got 74,000 miles on the clock. Uh, I do use it occasionally, uh, just to remind myself that uh, I can, I have a bigger car than the, than the three twin goes. Uh, so it's got the Gordini stripes on it. Unfortunately, these ones have started to peel. Now on the uh, on the Twingo Gordini, I've actually replaced these, uh, and these. Uh, stripes actually have a it's very difficult to see in the camera but they actually have a hologram in in the actual uh, uh, white uh, the, the stripes themselves so um, but yeah it's one or two marks nothing, nothing too serious the Clio Gordini has very similar styling interior uh, and mo uh, Gordini motifs as the Twingo Gordini. It's got analog gauges instead of digital, which I'll show later. Um, that's it. It's got uh, automatic wipers, automatic headlights, digital uh, climate control. Uh, so this one here is number 86. Um, and I said it's got the, the seats in the back are all leather, just in the same as the Twingo Gordini. It's a very comfy car, it eats miles quite nicely. Uh, it's quite powerful. Um, I said it's quite a lot of engine work, uh, which uh, I actually struggle to get insured. I have to uh, insure it with uh, specific insurance companies. I uh, said, so in fact, all of the fleets are with a specific one at the moment, and I'm about to change them to another one uh, again as, as, as a fleet insurance. This car tends to get quite a bit, bit of attention. Um, uh, quite a few people try and race me, and, and all sorts. It's quite surprising. It makes a wonderful noise, um, and it goes like stink. And yeah, it's pretty good. So here in the Clio Gordini, it's a, a different affair when it comes to uh, styling. It's a little bit more traditional. So it's got analog gauges here. Um, so you've got your uh, ref counter, uh, oil, uh, coolant temperature, fuel and speedo. And yes, it, the speedo does go up to what it says. Uh, pretty much close to it. And especially in this, uh, this en with this engine, because I had the engine replaced uh, with a, uh, a much larger engine.
So it's not the original 200 brake horsepower by any stretch. So this uses the standard Renault uh, keyless entry system, which you can actually put into, there's a little slot down here, which actually you can put it in, or you can just leave it anywhere in the car. Talking of down here, there is a uh, USB and auxiliary uh, port on the Twingo Gordini. That's actually two RCA connectors, uh, no USB. Uh, both cars have got Bluetooth, Gordini gear, gear knob, and also the Blue Gator as well. This one here has got a little bit of wear on the, on the uh, steering wheel. Uh, the Twingo Gordini has had the steering wheel completely refurbished. I'm gonna be doing the same with this uh, very soon. The traction control uh, button is here, uh, and uh, genuinely it is off when it when it actually uh, is off. It is off, and this car becomes quite twitchy. Um, I, God knows what it's lift off oversteer. Uh, character so I've managed to catch it uh, the last time I had one like that. It's a, a much more of a substantial product than the, the Twingo Gordini. No lesser product. The Twingo is no lesser product. Uh, than this um, in my eyes um, the Twingo is, is in many respects actually more fun than this this is a little bit more mature it's based on the, the, the standard Renault uh, platform of the period in 2010 each seat has the Gordini uh, logo actually pressed into the leather the leather seats at the back I do have the original Gordini alloy wheels uh, which are actually look like the Twingo Gordini wheels, but in blue. Um, but they were a bit rubbish, so I replaced them with the Speedline Torini ones. So, yeah, it's a, a pretty tidy, clean car. Um, I said this car doesn't get used that much either, so um, it's a, a pretty unused car. I tend to use them only in, in the summer, and even then, the Twingo Gordini hasn't really been used that much uh, at all over the past four years. Thanks for watching guys and girls, this was just a show and tell, allowed me to get the Tunga Gordini out, it's never really been featured very much on this channel, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and watch out for the next videos.